hello guys uh, welcome back in this video we will uh, uh, create a, a tracer function so that will be used uh, by the zombie character to uh, uh, tackle when it, uh, uh, when it comes in contact with any uh, uh, any objects in between while chasing the player or uh, uh, while uh, moving in idle On the zombie character, let's comment this first. Let's see. <coughs> let's create one more uh, event here. So just follow along. So we're just making sure that uh, zombie is not dead. So we have to check <coughs> since we are running this on uh, tick, we have to check whether it is jumping already. So So if jumping is false, then we will start the tracer. We already have a channel named Climbable that comes along with uh, <coughs> our ALS4 project. So we will use that itself. So whichever uh, uh, wall or anything that has Climbable enabled, so a zombie also can climb away above that. So this will be our uh, start of trace. Set the radius to 10 and for time being we will uh, set the uh, work for one frame and make an array and set ignore self. So sometimes this doesn't work so it's better to add it here. Let's see how the tracer looks. Okay, again, I forgot to call it an event tick. So here I'll call tracer. Okay, so this is how it traces. Let's continue further. So, if the trace is true, then uh, we store our uh, uh, 
mantle wall location and uh, it's normal mode this to variable Okay, so now we have the wall location and wall normal. We want to know uh, what's the wall height. So we need to add one more uh, uh, trace, uh, trace here. So for this start, we will uh, get from this wall location and wall normal. Get the wall normal and multiply it by a float okay add this with the vector and break this actually we have to break it twice for uh, start and then so break it twice and make vector so just add a float for uh, z value so this will be similar here also so for uh, the first one let's give it as 200 and it's minus 20 for the second one Connect the minus 20 to your uh, trace end and uh, plus 200 to your trace start. Again, the channel is climbable and uh, let's set this to for one frame. Okay, now let's set the obstacle on the level so that we can test it. Let's be let it be like this. Okay. Now, if you see, uh, okay, set the radius for this also as ten. So now the zombie character comes, it collides with the object, and we have three points. Where is the wall, and what's the wall's height? Now we will uh, save the wall's height also, like the usual way. So based on this wall height, uh, we will decide uh, what kind of uh, mantle uh, we want to do, whether it is a, a small one or the double-handed one. So this looks good. Now, so once everything is successful, we will set uh, jumping as, as true and we will play an animation montage.
now we have to uh, make the montage and before making montage we have to add a slot in the uh, an mbp so here we'll add default slot so our uh, montage will play in this slot and uh, as i mentioned in the first video i have already uh, got the animations from uh, uh, Mixamo and the ALS project. So I'll be using this mantle animation. So this has to be uh, enabled uh, root motion and set to anim first frame and uh, force root lock. So once everything is set, create a montage out of it. Okay, montage. Uh, it is already set to default slot, so we are good. And in the character here select mantle one num ls montage okay now let's see what happens okay so uh, the montage is playing but the character is not climbing up okay we'll stop it here and we'll continue it in the next video Thanks for watching. Bye.